Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Spyro the Dragon 3, uh, what is this game called? Year of the Dragon, it's called Year of the Dragon. <laughs> uh, last time we made our way to the second uh, hub world here, which is called Midday Gardens. We got everything in the hub itself, and we unlocked Sergeant Bird's base here. So, uh, this is the second, you know, um, playable character, I believe, that we've unlocked here. So, uh, we're gonna play through his level. And then we're going to take him back to World 1, uh, Sunrise Spring, because we should be able to get some more stuff back there using his abilities once we've finished his world here so that he is available to us as a character elsewhere. I think that's how it works. I assume you have to finish their level to get them to go to other levels. I don't remember if I tried that, tried going there just after freeing Sheila or not. Eh, we'll see, we'll see. Hmm. <sighs> Must be in peak physical condition if we're going to take out the sorceress. Alright. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna be playing as Sergeant Bird. The situation is this. Yesterday at 1845 hours, the Reinhardt invaded. We defended as best we could, sir. But without your leadership, we couldn't put up an effective resistance. By 1900 hours, the rest of the squad was captured, and the Reinhardt had complete control of the base. That's not good. Um. What are my controls? Oh my. Do I have unlimited flight? Like, I'm just holding the B button right now, and I'm just keep going up. This changes things. Uh, Y button doesn't do anything. X button gives me a first person view. It looks like I don't have limited ammunition, by the way. Uh, these rockets appear to respawn quite quickly. I think that was just a joke in the cutscene. Uh, I'm kind of slow, but because I have infinite flight, I'm pretty powerful. Uh, I can't break this stuff. Okay. Just, just want to make sure I don't miss anything, as usual. Uh... Okay, I'm f so I'm freeing the hummingbirds. What have we got going on here? Free the other hummingbird soldiers. Okay, uh, where are they? Am I meant to be going up? Are they above me somewhere? Oh, here we go. There's like little. You Gabriel? Okay. Are they homing rockets? This guy is very powerful. Oh, the enemies also have ranged weapons, that makes sense. Oh, hang on. My rockets don't break that. Hmm. Oh, hang on. If I press X in midair, I can actually do like a something. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Hmm. I'm confused. Uh, let's, let's talk. No, she's gone. Can't talk to her. Is she on the other side? I don't know. Yeah, these are definitely homing rockets. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, I've got like a hole in the ground here. I don't know if that's relevant. Far on empty cool. Uh, the enemy rations was a dragon egg? That's concerning. The Reinach had blocked the way out of this next cave with a security door, and I don't think you'll be able to blast your way through this one. 
I recommend you land on the weights and carry them to the pressure sensitive Oh, I can carry things. Okay. When in position, press the charge button to drop the weight. Press the Okay, so I can pick this up. Oh, I need another weight. Okay, I was thinking my weight might be enough, but it doesn't seem to be. Okay, I've already heard that, yeah. Um, what are these moles doing? Are they enemies? I'm not really sure. Looks like I'm trying to shoot at them, so I guess that makes them enemies. Looks like I'm shooting from a distance? Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Don't really get how these work. Is it just gonna break open or not? Hmm. The way this character works is, is confusing. Alright. Um there was another mole hole back here, right? Yes. I don't know if there's a reason to take out all the moles, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, this is pretty janky. Um, I was kind of expecting it to be that way, just because the other character we can play as is pretty janky. I think unlimited like flight is pretty great though. Oh, you just fly near them and they break open. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. I don't know if getting the moles is necessary, they don't seem to drop any gems, but maybe it contributes to like a, a dragon egg or something. It's not very clear. Yeah, I had to say that one, wow, that one already. Ryan, Ryan Lee. 
Uh, cool. I'm not done yet, though. I need to get everything, so... I have to walk me all the way over here. Yeah, these controls are kind of weird. Let's keep five hummingbirds. Yeah, there's another one this way. I think it's the fifth one. game really does not like the, the camera does not play very nicely at all when you're actually carrying one of these. It's real bad. <laughs> it's, it's just, it's not good. It's, it's bad and also ungood. going through flaming caves, that's my favourite thing. Oh, okay, it happened fine that time, so I guess nothing to complain about really. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, the, the other characters' controls are not very good. <laughs> oh my god. Um, did it just undo the progress I'd made? I think it might have. That's annoying. Okay, I'm pretty sure I saw a mole hole over there. Yeah, there it is, but the mole's not in it. Or the mole is in it, and so I can't see them. You know, one of those. One of those two. If you could see what you were doing a bit better, then this would not be so... janky, but unfortunately you cannot, and it is so janky. I'm carrying one of these again. Damn it. Alright, it's a uh, Y button to drop those. There we go.
I'm gonna get rid of those and grab some more when I need them. It's because the controls are slightly better if you're not carrying a rocket. Not a lot better, but slightly better. Hmm, we're getting there. There's actually 500 treasure in this level, which is interesting. Instead of the standard 400. Actually, it looks like none of these enemies are dropping treasure. They're dropping nothing. Is that because I already fought them and then died? Did it actually save that and I just didn't realise? I am unsure. Oh, skill point acquired. Is that for getting all the moles? Bomb the gophers. Oh, they're gophers. Okay, okay. I, I guess that's an animal that they could be. <laughs> uh, let's go rescue that guy. Which means doing this again, which is annoying. But uh, manageable, I suppose. I say as I accidentally take damage. It was quite avoidable. Yeah, it looks like I kept the treasure, but not the other objectives. Orders, uh, free the other hummingbird soldiers, soldier. That's that's you. That's your order. Do it. I've delegated. Now I don't have to finish the level. <laughs> uh, if only. <laughs> Okay, clearly there's another bird in there, but I don't know where that is. So I can't go through there to get there. Hmm. the maximum height, right? Yeah, I can't get on the roof and drop down that way. I mean, it's sort of already on the roof, but not on the roof enough to do what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, if that made any sense. Okay, I know I need to use this over here somewhere uh, to blow up the other the other one of those um super strong thingies that you can't just shoot with rockets. You know the ones. The one that's in here. That one. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Now I understand. Um, I might hang onto this rocket just in case. I don't know what I, what's going to be down there, but first let's grab everything that's up here and head on down. I wonder if it's always the last one that has the egg. <laughs> I'm ready to be the brief, chef. Okay, we're still missing some. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's start heading back this way. Ah, 
Oh, hello. Hey. Oh, there's just a couple of balloons. Alright. That's probably about it. Yeah, 500 out of 500. Okay. Job done. Um, that took a little longer than I was anticipating to actually get everything. So it may be a good idea to call it there, but I kind of want to backtrack and see what the Sergeant Bird part in the remaining level is. So I'm going to do that. Uh, anyway, returning to Midday Gardens. Then I guess we can go back to the balloon in order to get back to the first world. A bit of a Sparrow 1 flavoring. Mm. Although the balloon is in the same spot, you don't have to find the balloon in each world. It's just where we started. So it's a bit less exciting in that front, I suppose. Okay, so in theory, Sergeant Bird should now be available to us if we go back to Sunrise Spring, which we can do by going to that balloon over there. Oh, he's just there. Hang on. Stay here. I want to see what happens if I talk to him. Hello. Assess the situation. We need five brave souls to operate the whirly gig. Oh, I see. There's, a, there's actually a separate um, vehicle for going to the next world. Interesting. So if I go to Sunrise Spring now, will he help me out? Let's find out. Entering Sunrise Spring World. Entering Sunrise Spring World. Entering the world that's called Sunrise Spring. <laughs> uh, just a bit of frame rate drop there. Just, just to keep things interesting. Hope you enjoyed that frame rate drop. <laughs> it's like when you drop the... That thing you drop in dubstep? Uh, I don't really know what dubstep is. I know it's a music genre. And I know that you... Is it the bass? You drop the bass? I don't know what that means. <laughs> I just know that's that's a thing that people do in some dubstep music. And that's all I can say about it. Okay, it looks like that's available now, but first let's go do the buzz thing. So it's not the buzz thing, the Sergeant Bird thing. Buzz was the boss. Uh, the, like, bully we had to push into the lava a bunch of times. Uh, no, not here. It's Cloud... No, it's uh, Molten Crater we need to go back to. I think that's this one? Yes. Let's go. We probably could have used the um, guidebook to just warp directly to Molten Crater instead of going through the homeworld, but eh. I like the verisimilitude of doing it this way. Even if it does make the video a little bit longer for no reason. Do a barrel roll, and do a barrel roll. Okay, here we go. Okay, so. Uh, oh, it looks like it's just you and me. Oh, it just reset at the level at the beginning. I guess that makes sense, but you know, I'm used to Odyssey, <laughs> where things stay happened once you do them. Uh, okay. Here we go, this is where we want to be. Step inside, old chum, Sergeant James Bird. Alright. Okay, now I'm playing as him again. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with my friends. If I can't find where they've hidden their heads, they won't let me join the Tiki Lodge. Help me put them back together and I'll make you an honorary member. Okay, I don't care about that, but if you give me a dragon egg for it, then yeah, I'll help you. I hope that was the correct head. Like, I might have put the wrong head on the wrong person. I guess they have removable heads? I don't know what to make of that. <laughs> it's 
it's, it's a bit strange. Sergeant Bird kind of reminds me of Knuckles a little bit. The Knuckles, the Echidna parts in the Sonic Adventure games. Where you're doing like treasure hunting. Like I know this whole game is treasure hunting, but because of the moveset you have, it feels more like Knuckles. <laughs> if that makes any sense at all, which it may not. Give me a slug. Give me a butterfly. How are we doing treasure-wise? Eh, we're getting there. Bit rude of them to hide their heads directly below, like little flame geysers that blast anyone who tries to pick up the heads from from above. Like, it's just just it's just a rude thing to do. There you go. Okay, four out of five. Where have we not gone yet? I'm not sure. We can get the slug again though. Hello slug. Give me that butterfly. Did you know that slugs are just butterflies? Same creature. No difference. And we nearly have all the treasure now. And this is the last idle head, so we should get the egg shortly. Oh, cool. Okay, yeah, I'm cool with that. Thanks. Oh, it's it's Ryan Gosling. Mm, sort of. It's probably fine. Okay, so there's still more to do in here. Sergeant Burr blows up a wall and some more treasure. Uh, above me, apparently. So let's fly up. Okay, we have all the treasure. Now we need to find a wall that we can blow up, which must be in this area. It's probably that one. Yeah, okay. <laughs> that was pretty straightforward. And we are done in here. Excellent. Uh, now we just gotta go home in order to have it save. Turn home, yeah. All right, so playing as Sergeant Bird is weird. Um, I think it works a little better than playing as Sheila because basically because he can fly infinitely, so you have less trouble with the platforming. Um, whereas Sheila's platforming controls are super duper weird. You know, you've got that weird like high jump, but only if you press jump in midair, but you also have a double jump that uses the same button when you press it in midair, and it, it's very janky. Um, and also she has, like, no horizontal move momentum in air, which is just the strangest thing. I don't know why it works like that. Um, but yeah, so that's it probably for this video. I reckon next time we'll have a look at the sparks thing over there. Uh, I don't want to put it in the same video in case it's really hard and it ends up taking, like, another 30 minutes. Um, I don't really know anything about the sparks challenges in this game, so we'll see how we go. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. 